next in what will surely be a continuing series of the light heavyweight champion trying for a dream, trying to step up to something bigger. Holmes and Spinks, the heavyweight champion faces the light heavyweight champion. History repeats itself. In 1906, heavyweight champion Tommy Burns fought light heavyweight champion Philadelphia Jack O'Brien in his second title defense. 5'7", 172-pound Burns outweighed the challenger by just four pounds. After 20 rounds, the referee, ex-heavyweight champion James Jeffries, ruled the fight a draw. Burns retained his title. In 1921, the Manassa Mauler, Jack Dempsey, took on light heavyweight champion George Carpentier. 93,000 fans witnessed boxing's first million-dollar game. In the second, Carpentier shook Dempsey with a right, but unfortunately, he broke his thumb in the process. The 26-year-old champion quickly turned the fight around, and in the fourth, the 27-year-old Frenchman was down and out. In 1934, Primo Carnera outweighed light heavyweight champion Tommy Loughran by 86 pounds and won a farcical decision. In 1939, 24-year-old Joe Lewis disposed of John Henry Lewis in just 229 of the first round. But then, in 1941, the popular heavyweight champion met a tough Irishman, Billy Kahn. The light heavyweight champion ran, hid, and for 12 rounds, outboxed a legend. But I made a mistake. I heard him in the 12th round. If I listened to the fellows in the corner, I beat him. I said, I'm going to try to knock him out. Joe weighed 199 and a half, and I weighed about 68 and a half. Joe told me later, he said, I knew that you'd make a mistake and try to knock your old friend out, and I had to fix your ass for you. <laughs> That's what he said to me. <laughs> Ten years later, in Chicago Stadium, heavyweight champion Ezra Charles took on light heavyweight champion Joey Maxim. Weight was no factor. Well, I boxed Ezra Charles. Uh, he was 190 pounds. I weighed 80. There wasn't too much uh, weight difference in, at 10 pounds. But now they, uh, 225 pounds and a man 180 pounds, it's going to tell. On September 21st, 1955, 30 years ago tonight, Rocky Marciano in his last defense faced light heavyweight champion Archie Moore. Over 61,000 in Yankee Stadium saw the rock go down in the second, but number 49 was inevitable. I wasn't so particularly interested in how hard that Marciano hit. The thing I was interested in was who, if I could get to him before he could get to me. It was a great thrill to fight the heavyweight champion of the world, but I knew that uh, I was taking on an awful responsibility. In 1970, Smokin' Joe Frazier defended his crown against light heavyweight champion Bob Foster. The famous Frazier left hook was never more brutal. Well, Frazier was just like a train. As soon as the bell rang, you know, you, he's the type of guy that you never have to look for. He's right in front of you. You know, he came back in the second round, he started putting that pressure on me, and I wasn't nothing I could do with it. When that truck started hitting that Volkswagen, <laughs> it makes it different, you know what I mean? Because the body, the body's not built for that kind of pressure. So now, for the ninth time in history, the light heavyweight champion challenges for the heavyweight title. I'm just as well one of them that is going for this good attempt. Same thing can happen, possibly. But I don't look at it that way. I, I don't think I, I don't have time for that, really. I don't want to be the only one that lost to a light heavyweight champion. I'm not one of them. I'm just as well um, a light heavyweight champion as they were in their time, but I believe in doing things my way. To lose to a light heavyweight champion, I mean, that would be a shame, wouldn't it? That Larry Holmes, the family, the greatest fighters will all lose to a light heavyweight? No, I'm not going to lose. That's gone. It's not even in my mind. And we are live at the Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, where HBO Sports presents World Championship Boxing. The main event, Larry Holmes goes for number 49 as he defends his title against the undisputed light heavyweight champion.